Hello and Happy New Year. It's hard to believe it's been nearly three years since COVID-19 hit us. We continue to navigate the complexities of managing COVID within a prison environment. As we follow CDC and OHA guidance for correctional settings, we're working our way towards normal operations. CDC just released its newest guidance for correctional settings, so we've updated our response and recovery plan. If you haven't received a copy of it over email yet, you will shortly. Governor-elect Kotek shared with all agency directors her top priority as governor is to deliver services to Oregonians who are counting on us. And her policy focus will be on housing, behavioral health, and good schools. I recently met with some of the governor-elect's transition team and provided a brief presentation on the challenges of our agency, opportunities for our agency, and how we can support the governor-elect's priorities. During this process, the team also received information on vacancy rates and our recruitment efforts, audit and performance information, and updates on our equity, diversity, inclusion, and belonging efforts, and much more. I was truly proud to tell our story. As you know, there is a lot of good work happening across our agency. Warner Creek and Deer Ridge are launching a new pilot with WorkSource. Essentially, it creates a path to employment by connecting AICs who graduate from our education and training programs to external industries through WorkSource. The goal, of course, is to move the dial on recidivism and improve housing outcomes while providing support to communities who need labor and business. We are making great strides in our equity, diversity, inclusion, and belonging, EDI and B efforts. We articulated a shared vision for EDI and B work, developed and provided assessments and training, and began applying an equity lens to the work we do. We've started work on our affirmative action plan and racial equity plan. The Employee Services Division is finishing up its recruitment for a voluntary EDI and B committee. The committee will consist of a diverse group of employees who are committed to creating an inclusive and equitable environment where all employees and adults in custody, regardless of difference, feel valued, respected, and supported. It is a big job, and I'm grateful so many of you have stepped up to be part of it. A shout out to our accounting unit. They once again received the State Chief Financial Officer's Gold Star Certificate. The Gold Star is awarded to state agencies that provide accurate and complete fiscal year end information in a timely manner. The Gold Star is a challenge to earn, and its achievement is due primarily to our agency's diligent efforts to maintain accurate and complete accounting records throughout the year. DOC has received the Gold Certificate Award for 17 years running. That's amazing. Thank you and congratulations to our accounting team. We have such generous people working across our agency. We see it all year long, but your generosity really shines during the holiday season. Our team at TRCI donated 16 bicycles, a dresser, art supplies, sporting equipment, cameras, clothes, and so much more to their local community. This is so impressive, and I know other work sites held similar events. The kindness and generosity we see in our agency doesn't happen everywhere, and it's one of the reasons why I've always been so proud to work for our agency. This month, you'll receive an email for 2022 award nominations. Please take the time to nominate individuals deserving of recognition. Like I said earlier, there is so much good work happening and so many good people across our agency. Taking a few minutes to fill out a form is the least we can do to recognize them. Thank you all for being part of the DOC team.
May 2023 bring you much happiness and health. Thank you.